All right, uh, I have a new laptop I had ordered in the past week and it just arrived today. So this will be my second unboxing video I've done. I did one previously uh, on the channel for my new uh, Samsung S21 phone. And so this arrived, I uh, got a new laptop and so I decided, well, let me do a, a second unboxing video. So uh, this is the uh, Lenovo Legion 5. It is uh, classified as a gaming laptop. Uh, there's a lot of neat specs in this thing. Um, the main thing, I, I looked at a lot of different reviews online and I wanted to do a, um, a something that was a good combination of graphics as well as, because I do do uh, video editing uh, and as well as uh, other cybersecurity related work. So I needed a lot of RAM, uh, and, you know, sufficient uh, solid state uh, drive storage. So this kind of fit the bill. It was a uh, highly reviewed uh, and recommended on a lot of top 10 lists. So. Uh, the only other one was the, uh, the Omen, was the other one I was actually looking at before I finally decided on the Legion. So uh, here it is. So we're going to go ahead and, uh, hey everyone that's joining the chat, uh, Scotty, Scotty Moon, and uh, I said I think that's uh, Honey Guts. All right, so let's get right to it. Let me uh, go ahead and take this seal off. Hopefully I don't have to get a knife. All right. Okay, so right out the gate here, we have, I think this, oh, this is kind of neat. This is different. Let's get to open it up like that. And I believe this is obviously the laptop itself. A little cloth bag. All right, so it's right out the box. It's, it's um, not that heavy. I know there was a lot of negative comments about the weight of it, but uh, at least to me, it doesn't feel like it's too, too heavy. Uh, one of the things I liked about it was the cooling. It has like this, uh, some serious cooling going on here on the bottom back side of the laptop. And it's got the vents in the back. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and see if we got any battery life in this thing. So uh, let's turn this bad boy around. So it has the uh, has a pretty decent uh, processor. Um, it's AMD. It's got a uh, Nvidia uh, GTX card in here, so it's supposed to be pretty good at processing graphics. Uh, it's got uh, you can overclocking abilities as well. Uh, all the tech specs. I'll put some links and things in the description of this video once it posts. But let's see if this thing's got any battery life. Probably not. No. So it's dead. <laughs> so have to charge this, but let's see what else is coming in the box. So again, here's the laptop. Um, what I really liked about it that really sold me on them is the all the extra cooling in here, which probably contributes to the extra weight of the laptop itself. And it's got a lot of venting here on the sides as well as the back. So it's pretty neat. So let's set that here and see what else we have in the box. But that was a great little foam packaging presentation there for the laptop. That was kind of neat. All right, let's see what else comes in the box. Power cable, um, setup guide, and the terms and conditions, which nobody reads. So that's that. Uh, the rest of the, oh, then now that is a pretty hefty AC adapter. That is pretty heavy. Now that is, um, compared to traditional laptop adapters, I will say this is pretty bulky. It's uh, 230 watts. Yeah, you could definitely bludgeon someone with this. Uh, you can smack someone up the head against it and leave a mark. So that's really heavy. So uh, yeah, that that definitely I can see with a super thick power cord is going to add to a lot of weight if you're having to lug this around a backpack. Uh, the laptop itself not too bad, but I guess once you add those two components, so it definitely uses a lot of juice because 230 watts is no joke. Um, let's see what else is in here. If there's anything else. I don't expect there to be anything else. And that's it. So a lot of wasted space in the packaging. So Lenovo, note to yourselves, uh, for the environment's sake, you could definitely drop the size of this box in half. So yeah, that's a lot of wasted space there. A lot of wasted space. Okay, well that was pretty quick. Um, let me see if I can get this thing powered up. 
because otherwise this is going to be a very short uh, unboxing video. How's everyone doing out there? Thank you for the comments. Cool, nice. Thank, thank you. Yeah, I'm looking forward to switching all my video editing over to this laptop. Again, this power power brick is massive. Um, I could see if I had to lug this thing around every day, I would not be a happy camper. So luckily, I don't tr I don't plan to travel with this laptop. see if we get this thing powered up and see how nice it looks once it's powered on all right bear with me everyone while I get power connected okay so the power goes, should go right there, but let me double check. I think it wouldn't matter, but I'm going to take a guess and say it's you. Okay. Let's see if we get this thing to boot up. All right. Thanks for the comments there. Uh, having a hard time reading the names. Uh, so, uh, what what are you all? What laptops or computers or what are the specs of the machines you guys are using at home? Why don't you share that in the chat? Uh, the other laptop I was considering before I bought the Legion Five was the Omen. Uh, seriously, was looking at the Omen. Has a lot of nice specs. In fact, they both have the same video card. Uh, pretty much all the same spec wise. You know, you know, te technically speaking, they're both the same. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think the cooling features of this one um, and the overclocking ability had me sold. See, I actually have a very similar laptop. Cool. All right, uh, this is going to go through the basic setup. Yeah, let me go ahead and get this entered. So, yeah, uh, my plans for this is getting. I'm Cortana. Oh, no, Cortana. I'm We're done with you. Don't need you. So yeah, just uh, pretty much what my plans for this is do my YouTube video editing, um, do a little bit of cybersecurity work in it. I, I don't really do gaming on laptops. Uh, I have a, my PlayStations for that. I do a, a game on the PlayStation Network. Um, this thing's taking a while to go through the welcome screen. All right, let's see if we get this thing set up real quickly. Skip. Let's go ahead. Uh, it's gonna want to connect to a network. Think about it, think about it, think about it. Should be a little bit faster than this. The only laptop I have is my work laptop. Uh, it's an idea. Idea Pad Gaming from Lenovo as well. Cool. GTX and AMD processor. Nice. So the only laptop you have is a work laptop. Okay. No. Okay, it's connected on the Wi-Fi now. Hopefully it doesn't have too many updates to do. Let this thing keep keep booting up. So yeah, um, they're kind of holding it in my hands. I mean, so far, I'm liking it. Um, why is this not connecting? All right, I'm going to do this later. Can you limit the setup? Accept the license agreement. Again, terms and conditions no one reads. Um, so the user account, set the password, and confirm it. Uh, I 
can't skip this, oh my goodness. At least it's getting security questions right out the gate. And last security question. It's funny, I was asking for childhood nicknames. Anybody want to comment on what their childhood nicknames were? Hopefully you're not using it as a security question anywhere. No, this is not pre-recorded, Tommy. This is actually live. Uh, let's see, I will accept privacy things for now. And uh, not now, Cortana. And oh goodness, um, skip that. There's a lot of um, setup here just to get inside. Okay, and now it's doing its whole setting up a user profile, which takes too ridiculously long. And re in it. Again, this process just to create a profile takes too, way, way too long, considering I didn't even connect it to the Wi-Fi. And, uh, yeah, it takes several minutes just to create some folders. <laughs> you gotta love Windows. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. let's see, uh... Is this still taking a while? Jeez. Don't turn off. Yep, you're absolutely correct. I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time uh, gutting out some of the bloatware on it. Uh, my day's going pretty good, uh, Jen Carlos. Uh, my day's going good. Again, I woke up to a package at my door and, and here I am doing a unboxing video. And if you just caught that, yeah, I just woke up maybe a couple hours ago. So um, I usually am um, up really late at night and uh, I do a lot of international consulting and calls. So I'm usually up till three, four in the morning and, um, and I usually sleep until about anywhere from uh, 11 to one. All right, what do we have here? Uh, welcome to Edge. We're not gonna use you, Edge. So we can close that out. What's your favorite browsers to use, everyone? Because for me, it is definitely not Edge. Oh, nice little wallpaper there. So let's see if we can pull up some stuff on this real quick. Um, so uh, this has a uh, 500 uh, gigabyte drive. Uh, let's look at some other specs on this thing. At least the Windows specs for now. It's got 16 gigs of RAM. Um, oh, that's fine. I really can't see all that the camera but I'll just read it out to you guys so it has the AMD uh, Ryzen 4800H um, 2.9 gigahertz it's got 16 gigs of RAM um, 500 gig on solid state drive so yeah it's uh, should do pretty well I'm gonna load some stuff on this and maybe do some benchmarking you know there's a lot of benchmark videos out there but uh, I'm gonna have to take a couple hours to one gut a lot of the bloatware off of it, uh, install some applications and some other apps, and so uh, I'll put some description links in the below with all the tech specs on it. But uh, pretty happy to get it. Uh, again, this is my second unboxing video, so uh, again, got the Legion Legion Five in, so I'm looking forward to doing some video editing with this thing, and uh, and yes, yeah, start a new chapter of writing and doing articles and all other kind of work on this thing. So. Uh, so the last question on chat before we wrap up, uh, what was your uh, nicknames uh, you had? Childhood nicknames. Anyone want to chime in? Should have brought a gaming PC. So it's been so. Speaking of gaming PCs, um, the last I did in gaming PCs, I used to do World of Warcraft. Uh, so that was oh geez, it was maybe back in. I think it was two thousand and. 13, 14 when I last played World of Warcraft. And so the problem with the PC world, at least when I, I used to be heavily in the PC gaming back in the late 90s. So I used to play Quake, um, Unreal, uh, Counter-Strike. Uh, I, I was really big into Counter-Strike. Uh, I know on, then I switched over to PlayStation because at least with the consoles, the consoles would last, you know, three to six years on a, you know, life expectancy, if you will. 
Uh, whereas uh, video cards, at one time in the 90s, you, if you didn't upgrade your video cards like every six to eight months, then you really couldn't run the latest and push the latest graphics. You know, when the Unreal Engine came out and a lot of the games, just every new game release, you had to have basically the latest video card to really play it or really enjoy it. And it got to a point where it was like just, you know, having to spend five, six hundred bucks every six to eight months on another video card, I was like, ah, I'll just get a console. And so I started getting, you know, I started with the PlayStation 2. And the rest is history. I've been doing PlayStation since. But the last PC game I really played uh, a lot, like six six plus hours a day, used to be World of Warcraft. Uh, so any of you guys out there World of Warcraft fans? So World of Warcraft, anyone that's watching this video, um, I was uh, the Horde. Uh, the uh, My main character was a, uh, a Pally a tank. It was a Blood Elf. Uh, really like that, uh, you know, going being the tank in the uh, in a raid, uh, you know, maintaining aggro. Uh, I never was into the DPS chasing, but uh, but yeah, I had a bunch of level 85 was the highest I went, uh, whatever release of the uh, WoW that was. But as far as other video gaming achievements, I did the uh, Rainbow Six Vegas 2 uh, on the Sony Network single player deathmatch. I think I was 64th in the world. At one time in that, uh, that's probably the highest because I was playing that game like, again, six plus hours a day. I, you know, my hat goes off to anybody out there that's a professional video gamer. Uh, it takes a lot of time. I mean, it's a full-time job. And so uh, it's just supposed to be something I can maintain. Uh, you know, just getting to the top 100 of anything is phenomenal. But trying to maintain it is a whole nother ball game. But anyhow, not to digress too much on video gaming, but uh, I'm happy to have the Legion 5 in. I... Uh, Wish there was more to show, but uh, right now I have to do a lot of work on it to clean it up and get the uh, operating system where I need it to be. But thanks guys for joining the chat. Thanks for watching this. This is my second unboxing video. I hope to do more. Uh, oh, good question. We have a question here. Uh, uh, Fafitas12 says, what's your favorite video game? Oh my goodness. So used to be, I used to love role playing games. Uh, World of Warcraft took up a lot of my life. Uh, um, other games like, uh, oh my goodness, uh, Final Fantasy, um, Metal Gear, uh, but then Call of Duty and the shooters became um, my new favorite simply because when you're playing like Skyrim or a role playing game, you're putting so many hours into something and when you're running a quest, you kind of don't want to put the game down until you finish the quest. It's kind of like reading a book. A, a good RPG is just like reading a book. You don't want to put it down. But with a shooter, I could just finish a round and then cut it off for the night. So I could play a shooter whether I play 20 minutes or five hours. That's the beauty of a, of a live, you know, a first person shooter game versus a role playing game. So kind of a toss up. Um, I do like role playing games uh, if I have nothing but time on my hands to dedicate to it. But for, for just having the flexibility and the quitting it, first person shooters. Uh, but yeah, Call of Duty, um, also, um, I was real big in it for a while when I was in Iraq. I uh, did a couple years in Iraq where there was a lot of Halo tournaments. I think it was Halo 2 at the time. And I got really, really good at Halo 2. I won a couple Halo tournaments in Iraq. I think I won uh, about three three tournaments. In fact, I got a t-shirt <laughs> for my, my, my name. My sign-in name was Legion of Boom. And so I actually won uh, several tournaments in Iraq uh, while I was up there uh, years ago. But that was during the Halo 2 days. But my, my thing in Halo 2 was I could uh, circle, circle, uh, circle strafe, butt stroke, uh, like the person with the sword. Uh, that really ticked off the sword person because you know that sword lunge and you just do a semi-circle half straight and butt stroke them and kill them. Uh, I was also good at the sticky grenades. I was just uh, really, really adept at throwing them across the map and sticking people in the face. So yeah. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Lenovo ThinkPad with an i7. Cool, cool specs. Let's see what we got here. Do you watch? Uh, I do not watch any of the content for Halo after after my time in Iraq, which was like I think that was like 2006 time frame. Uh, I stopped, uh, you know, playing Halo. I stopped actually. That was the only time I ever really played on Xbox. Uh, I did. Uh, I had a friend of mine that had an Xbox 360 that would play. Uh, what's that game uh, that's on all the platforms? What's so called? Um, it's kind of like a first-person shooter, but mixed with an RPG element. It's called. Um, my goodness, it's um, the one where you got like the avatar or the thing that travels with you uh, and then you could customize your weapons. I'm trying to think of the name of that game. You got to like, you, you take a ship down to a planet, then you, you know, run a mission, 
It's um, it's similar to Halo, but um, but yeah, I, I can't remember the name right now. It's, it's killing me. I forget the name. But yeah, I played that for a while on the 360 at a friend's house. But uh, yeah, I never really got into Microsoft. Uh, you know, no offense to their technical specs, but at the end of the day, I've always been a fan of a uh, PlayStation, and I currently still play on a PlayStation Network. So let's see. Uh, all right. So, um, but yeah, that's pretty much all the unboxing video, guys. Thank you for jumping on the chat. And thank you for sharing in the comments and uh, responding to me. Really appreciate it. So that was the unboxing. It was really short and sweet. I'm going to uh, put some links later for the description of the tech specs and all that. And there's a, there's a plethora of review videos already on this Legion 5. Again, I just kind of felt it was neat to do a, a second uh, unboxing video. And hopefully I can do some more unboxing videos uh, in the future. So, yeah, that's it. So, again, got the Legion 5. Love this, the venting on this thing. It's got lots of vents, lots of cooling, got some great specs on it. And uh, this is a little different from what I'm used to, the laptop screen kind of hinging before the backside a bit. So that's a little different right there. So it's got like this little one inch protrusion from the back of the screen where the bevel is. So that's different, but, uh, but yeah, this is gonna be sitting on a desk and it won't really travel with me. So um, should be should be fine, so. Thank you guys for watching, and with that, that has been Formerly Me.